One of my favorite things to do every Saturday morning when I have the chance is go to Cars and Coffee. On the first Saturday of the month, they do a huge Cars and Coffee event in this business park and something like 400, 500 cars always show up. I always really love going out there because there's a huge car scene, there's a ton of different stuff. Some questionable stuff, some cool stuff, some super rare stuff. I thought for this particular Cars and Coffee event, I would take you all along for the ride, tell some jokes, and hopefully it's an enjoyable experience for everybody. For those of you who don't know, Cars and Coffee is like an informal car show event. It's quite simple, really. You take your car, you go to a parking lot where other people are, usually it's near a coffee shop or in the parking lot of a coffee shop, get some coffee and you talk to other car people and it's a great opportunity to meet new friends and talk to people about their cars and your car and not feel like you're being a burden or sounding insane going on about option codes and paint colors and things like that. You can actually go to one of these places, have a cup of coffee and be yourself. Now the thing about this Cars and Coffee event in particular that I'm going to show you is that it's on a much larger scale so the whole meeting people, talking to people about their cars isn't as emphasized out there because there's so much stuff. What better car to take out there than the one of 4,000 when it was new but probably one of much much less now 2004 Land Rover Freelander. Most people don't really know that these are so rare or they don't really care about them anyways. But it's the one card that I have that's more special and rare than the other two, and I'm proud of it, so it makes sense to take this to a big Cars and Coffee event like that. Let's uh, join the action, shall we? So right now I'm smelling burning oil, but I mean, a couple of Volkswagens in front of me, so you never know. It's probably me, but I'm gonna try to convince myself that it isn't. Loud. Hey, you think you're special? Yeah. Oh boy, I have a VQ to look forward to. And an Audi A3. Maybe I should just turn around. Oh, a V6 Mustang. That is the coolest car I have ever seen. Oh my God. Get out of the way, BMW. Look. Oh, I bet it's an automatic. Oh, a Telluride! Whoa! Oh, another VQ! Yay! I can't wait for my ears to explode! Those 350Zs are the worst sounding cars on our roads. Whoa, there's a Mustang too. Okay, that is actually... There's a GT500 in front of it, but I'm not paying any attention to that. Those things just do not exist anymore. I wonder why. Maybe because they're crap. Ugh, another VQ. I knew I should have brought my earplugs today. Oh, there's a McLaren. All right, so here we are. I've got my beautiful red Freelander. Definitely the star of the entire show parked right here. As you can see, the crowds are already starting to gather around this rare, ignore that spot underneath, this rare specimen of a British SUV. There's nothing better than this. The coolest car here. See, look, the crowd's already coming up. See, ready? They loved it, they loved it. Kinda cool Volkswagen CC that's been put on bags, which normally I don't like, but on a car like this, Volkswagen CC was always a cool, swoopy looking, styly car all about style, so I like the color. No, oh, that bumper's coming off. It was white once. Well, these are nice BBS wheels. And the interior's in good shape. AE86 with a wink. It's amazing that one anime could make a car so valuable, but this is what happened here. So I believe the base version of this car was the Corolla SR5, and it had a carbureted, like, 80 horsepower engine. A lot of these were swapped to have the 4A GE. Was also the engine in the first generation MR2. The MR2 isn't as valuable and doesn't have that same mystique as an A86. Oh yeah, there you go, see? That is a slogan that I live by. But yeah, this is a really cool car. Probably worth like 40 grand, which is utterly, completely ridiculous. E46 M3 pulling up.
Listen to that cam. Oh my God. A couple of NB Miatas here. I'm willing to bet money that they have no performance upgrades other than what you can see with the lowering and tires and blah, blah, blah. Oh wait, no, it actually does have an aftermarket gauge off to the side. Let's get a closer look. That is a boost gauge. I made fun of it for not having any performance modifications. This obviously is turbocharged, maybe supercharged, something like that. It has a boost gauge. Look at this sick whip. He's so proud of himself. Look at these Mazda 3s. All right, moving on. STI. Too bad that they're not making this anymore. That is the dumbest decision from a car maker in history to stop making the STI. Ridiculous. Look at this. Whoever brought this out here, I respect you and I am humbled by you. I also think that it has wheel offset of some kind because look. <laughs> look at the interior. Now those seats look a little bit wrinkled and honestly, I think that's probably how they came from the factory. That is the greatest car here, hands down. Nothing can improve on this. That is so 90s. Oh, and the top, the top fits great. I love the way that top fits, remarkable. But well, this is cool up here. I'm the same as Doug DeMuro when it comes to loving cars and their original press color, especially if the press color is kind of ugly. In the pictures, this orange looked really terrible, but in person, it actually looks really nice. I love the new WRX and I'd really love to have a go in one. Okay, good. Because if it was a CVT, I might have had to break their windows. I think this was a Forerunner once. I'm not sure what the point of this is. It's not very big, but it is quite unique. I'm really stuck in between, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen and this is actually really cool. I don't know, what do you guys think? <laughs> Another new WRX, have to do check real quick. Yep, okay. Is anyone even buying this thing in CVT? And if they are, what is wrong with them? I'm seeing a lot of WRXs, STIs, and GTIs that are like near identical. Here's two Mark 7s that are pretty much the same. And then there's two more Mark 7s over here that are pretty much the same. Again, with the whole identical cars thing, 300ZX, 300ZX, same color, pretty much exactly the same car. I'm not really a fan of these, but kind of cool to see two of them here in the same color. And that is so up my street. Look at this Jag. Yeah. Oh, S60R. Oh, it's got Atacama interior. Oh, ooh, worn Atacama interior. And Spaceball, that is like the best shifter known to man. Z4 Coupe, what do we think? Is this a Z4 M Coupe or is it just a fake? I think it's real. I mean, I'm not a fan of that at all, especially since it looks like they carved a hole out of it with a spoon. But other than that, these things are really sweet. I would love to drive one. I would love to own any Z4 Coupe, honestly. They're rare and they're really interesting. Really pretty too. Five cylinder goodness. Who else could it come from but Audi? I don't know where this world is going, where you can buy a small little Audi that does zero to 60 in like three and a bit seconds. Ridiculous, but I'm not complaining. Just, you know, just saying. I've seen this car before at a local Cars and Coffee. I think it's a 73. 300 SD, so it's a diesel. And I honestly really do want an old Mercedes from this era. Check out his uh, window blind solution back here. And when I say window blind, I mean literally window blinds. Why doesn't Mercedes put those badges on its diesel cars anymore? Just for the retro goodness of it. But yeah, these are really beautiful cars. Oh yeah, that is style if I've ever seen it. All right, everybody, take your best guess. What is the cause of this spill right here? Yep. I would have never have guessed that. Look at this Lexus IS. That is wide. Why do people put toe straps on the front of their car? Hey guys, look at my car. It breaks down a lot. Hey, I love me a good E40. Ew, it was SMG. Blech. Mitsubishi Legnum, I think. Oh, look at the interior. Oh yeah. And the color is awesome too. I love that blue. That is cool. I know it's not nearly as fast or powerful or doesn't have the same like cool mystique 
as an evolution, but I would have that leg numb any day of the week. Here, guy, let me do you a favor, okay? Now you're good. There you go. Also, this is another debashed car. I thought it would be a 540 or something cool. Looked inside, it was a five-speed manual, so it's a six-cylinder. But hey, at least it's a manual, right? How much do you want for it? How much do you want? Stock Fiesta ST. Really cool cars. I'd love, again, I'd love to have a go in one. This is sweet. I love the ducktail spoiler on the back. Always a good 911 touch, even if it isn't a turbo. So iconic. Morris Brothers Motorsports. Beautiful interior speedometer that goes up to 250 kilometers per hour. Yeah, that is a gorgeous 911. Ooh, but a couple E30s over here. Ooh. I like a bit of that. 200,000 miles. It's another car that I really want, but you just cannot find them for a good price anymore. I like the wheels on this STI. I don't know why, but white wheels kind of work for me. A little bit too much fake carbon for my taste, but I like the spoiler. It's not too bad, it's an STI, so you can kind of have a little bit of fun with it. But I like the way they modified this, but they didn't take it too far. Look at the wing on this Supra. It's painted to look like a watermelon. <laughs> E46. Let's see, is it nicer than mine? So far it looks like it is nicer, much nicer. M Sport bumper on the front, check. Automatic transmission, boo. Rust, check. 330i, or 330xi. Any 330 gets a pass, especially an M Sport. Here's another car that I have an unreasonable want for. Love the way they put down their half windows. Just to remind you of the fact that this thing is so weird. And it's not a two-tone color, which is, I think, I think that's unusual for the SVX. And again, a rear wiper delete, which I do not understand why people do that. There's no good reason for that. Also, STI wing, what do you guys think? Do you think it works? I'm kind of on the fence about it, but it's something different, which I respect. Kept it original with that Alcantara surfacing on the door panel and above the glove box. Overall, I love these things, and I really want to buy one. Oh, it's a silver WRX, just like my old one. And it has a mismatched panel. I am at home here. This is a bit of me, isn't it? It's a manual, so it beats mine. Oh, the whole front is different. Whoa. That is uh, expertly painted. All right, let's rate these BMWs here. E30 with the correct badge manual transmission so it gets a pass those seats i'm not sure if it works with the color on the outside but the blue is pretty cool aftermarket cup holders because if you have an e30 you either have bad cup holders or no cup holders at all f30 here which i don't think is an m3 it is not an m3 but it's an m sport of some variety likely a 335i or a 340i with m sport m3 right here f80 e36 nicer than the one that i used to have which isn't saying much, but yeah. But it's a manual, has some bucket seats. That thing is way too low to the ground, actually. That is cool. Good BMW lineup here. I'm not the only one here with an unreliable SUV. I think these had the North Star V8 in them, which is known for being horrible. You don't see SRXs anymore, probably with good reason. Buick Grand National. Those are really cool. Supra, of course. Another Supra and more Subarus down there. What a surprise. There's not just one, but two Mustang twos, and this is a King Cobra. Just to see one driving around still is insanely cool. And I think this splitter that they got in later years makes it look a lot less, you know, 1970s horrible economy car. King Cobra. You're not just a peasant Cobra. No, you're king. King of all the Cobras that are more powerful than you, but you know. Oh yeah, oh, I love that steering wheel. And the dashboard, I mean, look. Four speed manual transmission, crank windows. It's got everything you want out of a 70s Mustang. Anyone who brings a Mustang 2 out to Cars and Coffee gets my respect instantly. And I would love to do a video with one of these. This is also up my alley. If you see in my recent Corvette review, you would know that I love C4 Corvettes. Don't think they deserve the bad reputation that they have. You can tell just from this badge that it is not a 1984, but I don't know what it is. But yeah, this is an automatic, so not the best version, but this is actually faster in a quarter mile in a day, the four-speed automatic. That was a V12 running. We're gonna have to go investigate that. Oh, there it is. 
That is loud. Corvette, we'll come back to you. Hold on a second. <laughs> Now, I don't like when people rev their cars at Cars and Coffee. I think it's disrespectful and a little bit vulgar. But this guy, it's allowed. It's allowed. Ew, a Porsche Cayenne. Get that thing out of the shot. I want to look at the real Lamborghini. There we go. Check this thing out. Lincoln Continental. Lowered. Look at that interior, too. And an Evora. These are sweet GT cars. Really gorgeous looking. And he's got a manual, which is good. These things are massive, just a bygone era. Look at that engine. This is awesome. This is a Honda Acti, I think, yep. Lamborghini, sure, but I would have this. There's those W and I love how they look. I think that's an Exige. I don't really know how to tell, but it looks like an Exige to me. It gets a pass. Probably more economical than any hybrid car. And slower too, but wow. Sandbar goodness. These are really cool looking, especially in this blue with the matching brake calipers right there. And it's got the correct transmission, which is great. Look at this M6 here. This is just about cooler than anything else that's here, I gotta say. He's opening the hood. It's real. Look at that. M1 engine, that is really cool. And I love this pinstripe and the M colors and the wheels. Everything about it is just insanely cool looking. Definitely stock E28 here. Yeah, that came from the factory. Nice. This one's for Elliot Alvis, the motory notary himself. This is so up your street. Just for you, Elliot. Here's another cool JDM thing. Right hand drive with those glorious Japanese seat covers. <laughs> oh, look at that. They got the whole setup back here. Oh, look at the clock. That is beautiful. Especially for the sparkling cider in the back. That is great. Nissan Gloria. SR32. And an Eclipse U-Haul. Okay. Oh, I love this car, you guys. I love this car. Now, this ain't no regular Civic. I respect the fact that they had to cut a hole in the hood to fit a V6 or it. That is awesome. There's the inside of the V6 Civic. Look at the hood view that you get, you guys. <laughs> that is so cool. So yeah, this is a Civic Si. I think this one might be two. Yeah, so two Civic Si's. This is a really solid Honda lineup right here. Nothing too excessive except for the V6, but that's excessive in the best possible way. Celine Mustang, that's an interesting color. That's cool. Weird color choice, but again, it's a wrap, so I love the look of the back of these Celines. So different from a regular Mustang. Really cool. So that's basically the end of the cars and coffee. Now we're gonna go watch the cars leave, which should also be kind of exciting. Bit of a traffic jam going out here. Like a bit of that. Do it, V6 Mustang! Yeah! Tesla! Woo! Porsche. Supercharger, okay, okay. Whoa! That is the best sounding Civic I've ever heard. GT3 
ATR. Legend Lime, too. That's a really cool color. That color is called Legend Lime. Oh, we got wheel spin! Woo! Oh, get back. Oh, God, he's trying to turn off! All right, no more Mustang jokes unless one crashes. There's the Civic Si again. Oh, did you hear the VTEC? <laughs> Yeah, Prius! Woo! Now it's my turn. This is gonna blow them away, folks. There's the Cars and Coffee event, and I know I couldn't resist. I had to be the one guy leaving Cars and Coffee, revving his engine. Also, the Cars and Coffee Instagram is linked in the description below. It's Cars and Coffee Utah. Again, they organize this in Lehigh, Utah on the first Saturday of every month. So be sure to check that out. I hope everybody has an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.